So um, we have Sam Williams here, um, all the way from Australia. Played for Canberra Raiders and done a stint down at Catalans, was it? Yep. So we've got a few questions here from our fans. So uh, first one, how are you settling into Wakefield? Yeah, it's been good, mate. The, um, all the people here, the club, um, all the players have been really good with helping me settle in. And um, you know, all the people, all the Wakefield fans have been really good as well and, and really supportive about, um, about the move and it's just made it that little bit easier to settle in. You're used to getting up early and training in the cold weather yet? Uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, where, I'm, where I'm from in Australia is in the um, snowy mountains, so I have a little bit of an uh, understanding of it. Uh, we played some cold Friday night games um, back home, so it was a, a little bit a little bit similar, but it's um, still a different sort of cold over here, so I'll be used to it soon. There's a good one. So which player has taken you under their wing? <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> Um, I, I was lucky that you were around when I first got over here, so um, you know, we've got T who's been really good actually. A lot of the expats have been really good. Um, I played with Billy Tupo in Canberra and, um, and him and Shana have made it that little bit easier as well. So um, you know, we all get along fairly well and, and that helps. So uh, what is your aim this season and a few of your goals? Oh, I think um, it's important to come over here and play consistent footy. It, um, you know, that's that's the main objective is, is to come over and train hard and, and earn the right to be in that team every week and be playing well enough um, that you that you're picked for the side. So you, you want to be doing that, and then from then on, we want to try and play as as, as deep into the semi-finals as possible. That's the aim. You know, first of all, we get in that top eight, and then you know, try and do something special with the club. Well, that's why we signed you, isn't it? <laughs> get us that extra step further. <laughs> Um, <laughs> who was the best player you have played with and against? Um, uh, the best player I've probably played with. Um, oh, it's a tough one. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about um, ability-wise if he was, the, you know, one of the players with the most ability. But Alan Tung from Canberra is one of the, one of the ones that stands out in, in terms of me coming through as a young bloke and learning about the game and, and learning how to train and how to uh, um, fit into that first grade environment. He was really good for it. He's a really good leader, and I took a lot, lot away from that. And then, I guess probably the, one of the best to played against was Jonathan Thurston. He's just, for me, he's the he's the pinnacle of halfbacks and. The amount of times he touched the footy is, is brilliant, so um, I love playing against him and I love watching him play as well. Um, what is your funniest moment on the field? <laughs> um, Who asked this question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, you, you'd remember the game. Uh, myself and T were playing a game. Um, it was a, um, a, a rep game for the New South Wales residents and our winger made a break and Oh um, yeah, that was that <laughs> that team where all the best New South Wales players yeah, 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 reserve great it. players. Yeah, <laughs> and our wingers made a break and he started celebrating about twenty metres out and pointed to the heavens and someone's running down from behind and he dropped the ball and then ended up getting injured and going off the field in the first twenty minutes, so it was pretty rare. Big ten gully. Yes. Um, who do you think throws around the best banter at the club? Um I think, in terms of laughing, it's probably Dave Fafita. Uh, he, la he laughs at his own jokes every time, so uh, he'll, he'll tell a joke and then start laughing about himself, so I guess that makes it funny. And then I'll answer this one, and the worst banter would be Dave Fafita as well, <laughs> yeah. because he laughs at his own jokes. Yes, well said. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the best dressed and the worst dressed in the team? Uh, I'm still trying to get a, a little bit of a bearing on a few things. Um, uh, worst dress, uh, Danny Kermont, probably, <laughs> he's pretty ordinary, I've seen a few of his kits, he's, he's trialling out a new set of skins today and um, they look horrible on him but he's probably the worst, best dressed, uh, I don't know yet, we'll, we, we um, have a bit of a function Friday so we'll find out then. Um, what is your taste in music like? Um, believe it or not, I do like a bit of country music. Um, Obviously, so, being from Canberra. Yeah, so we've got a, you know, I like my country music, but in saying that, I like um, you know, a lot of R&B and things like that as well. So um, I've got a pretty wide taste in music. Awesome. So what is, what is the standard Christmas day like in the Williams household? Uh, usually we um, we have a bit of a brekkie but nothing too ma too massive and then um, it's pretty much outside playing cricket um, in the backyard there's a lot of uh, a lot of cricket played and well me and my two brothers are always pretty competitive so there's lots of tantrums and blowing up and um, then we go back in for a big lunch and 
have something then and then by about three or four in the afternoon I'm pretty tired so hit the sack. Tired or drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> there won't be any cricket this year. No, we'll get the bat out. Um, what is the best part of, Christmas, of a Christmas meal? Uh, probably the ham. I love the ham. A uh, bit of pig in there, it's really good. Yep. Um, is it weird that you have a match day after Christmas? Yeah, it's a bit different. It's something that um, a few people told me about before I came, and I, I don't really understand the whole, um, you know, the, the feeling behind it just yet. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the game and um, the Boxing Day game. It's a great concept, and I know a lot of people look forward to the game. It's our first sort of game for the new squad and a um, few of the new players. So um, I'm looking forward to it. As I said, it'll be a little bit different. It'll be a bit quieter Christmas, but it'll be good, mate. So we have one here. Keegan Hurt. Keegan Hurst has asked if you have stolen his hoodie and passing it off as your own. <laughs> oh, mate, if I took Keegan's hoodie, I'd be using it as a, um, as a blanket, I think. <laughs> he's, um, he's about four sizes too big. Uh, it'd be hanging around my knees, so no, nah, not me. And Danny Kerman wants to know if your wallet has arrived from Australia yet. Yeah, it's funny that. Like, we, um, we get paid our last pay in Canberra. It's the last day of October. Um, and the pay in the, in the Super League comes in in December. So it's been a bit of time between uh, getting paid and he hasn't offered for a coffee or a, anything yet. He, um, it's, it's, um, you know, it's like he's separating uh, himself with one of his own kids. So, um, yeah, there'll be plenty more of that later. <laughs> now, this was a popular question from all the fans. Um, do you have any hidden talents or can you sing us a song? <laughs> Not a chance I'll sing a song. Um, I honestly, uh, honestly can't sing to save myself. <laughs> but I can juggle four balls at once, so that's pretty good. Sweet, I made that question up. Yeah, well, so. I made that <laughs> <laughs> all right. I can't juggle at all. <laughs> there you have it, Sam Williams. Thanks for having us. Cheers, guys. <laughs>